Hello guys and welcome to Clash of the Titans round 4, game 4, between Loiza and Lovecheng. Score currently lies at 2-1 to Lovecheng. Of course, this could be the final game if Lovecheng takes it and... Well, let's have a look. We've got Loiza over to the left of the map. He's playing as Mayans in blue. And over to the right in red, we've got ourselves Mr. Lovecheng playing as Mayans as well. The map, it is hills. And uh, as I said before, it's a pretty open map. Although it is fairly easy to wall around your initial sort of starting area. This map's kind of interesting, actually. It reminds me of Acropolis from uh, the Forgotten Empires, as both players obviously starting on a hill here. A uh, hill all the way around the outside of their base as well. And uh, as far as the rest of the map is concerned, there isn't really too much out there. There are a few gold piles scattered around in the centre of the map. But this map should really favour those who play quite aggressively. And, you know, it reminds me of almost the game we saw a while back between Chris and Doubt, where Chris just went and trushed uh, Doubt and took all of his stone away from him. The same could work out really well here. I'm not suggesting that either of these guys are going to tower rush, but I do think that playing very aggressively could work out very well. So, so far then, Lovecheng really, really getting ahead on water. And, you know, most water maps we've had so far, well, both water maps even, Lovecheng has really won it with quite a significant margin. Loiza, though, well, in that arena game, he certainly played it very well as Aztecs. But I think that Arena is quite a specialised uh, kind of map. The Arena players out there, no offence to them, but they are certainly not, if they play Arena only, um, as well suited or well adapted to playing on maps such uh, as light random where you can get so many different kind of positions to be in so for loiza then it's certainly possible that this land map is going to favor him more than perhaps a water map but it might also mean that he is in for a little bit of a tough time we'll have to wait and see of course Love Cheng here, really not going to put anything uh, on the line, really going to probably play it quite safely and just make sure that he doesn't slip up at all. Of course, Loiza probably going to want to be doing exactly the same and uh, we'll see right now if either of them are planning to boar steal. Loiza right now has obviously scouted his initial starting area and I think they're probably going to be looking for their opponent's boar in just a moment. Um, I just heard a boar coming in. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. There's Loiza's boar coming in right now. First boar for Love Chen coming in as well. Where's the second boar though? Well, it's at the back. So there's no chance that Loiza would be able to steal that realistically. He could come in around here and go all the way around to steal. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen. And I don't think Love Chen has any, uh, any ideas at all of stealing either. At the moment, just luring these deer in towards his TC um, instead of sending it out looking for a boar to steal. So Love Cheng then going to be putting these deer quite quickly, and that could really help him out in terms of getting up to the castle age in a good time. Uh, well, not even the castle age, getting up to the feudal age. I highly doubt we'll see a straight up fast castle here, as the maps do favour playing quite aggressively. I feel anyway. Loiza, though, sending his scout out, looking around the map right now, not luring in these deer. And that just means that his score is going to start pulling ahead, and that's mainly just due to his scouting. But of course, if Loiza does decide to go with a Drush right now, which is possible as mines, of course, four villagers on wood right here, um, if he does decide to go with a Drush, Love Cheng might not see it coming all that much because Loiza already has a higher score due to scouting. And of course, a good indicator of whether someone's going to Drush is whether or not their score really starts to pull ahead. So Love Cheng's really going to want to scout Loiza carefully here and make sure that Loiza isn't pulling any uh, dodgy moves. It also seems like he's only just luring one deer in, so that's interesting that he's only doing one. Perhaps right now we're going to see a barracks going down. There's the barracks from Love Cheng, and it will be a drush from him. Loiza, though, are we going to see a barracks from him as well? Well, so far nothing, but he doesn't quite have the wood for it. We're going to see in just a moment. Let's see, it looks like he might... Oh, I thought he actually forced that drop off there. Perhaps not then. So Love Chang going to be making a Dark Age rush right here. And Loiza, so far, no barracks. And if he does put the barracks up much later, it will be a very late time 
to make the drush. And of course, right here for Love Cheng, I think drushing is a great option for him to do. Of course, uh, the Mayans are great civilization once you get up to the Castle Age. They are really strong in Imperial with their plumed archers and rams, but it's likely that Love Cheng will go for a drush and then probably go for archers as well. Maybe if he doesn't go for archers, straight to castle and crossbows will be the obvious choice. Depends how well he walls up and how much he can secure his map. But already making those militia right there and Loiza has absolutely no idea about it. So he might not even scout this out. It depends. We'll keep an eye on his eagle. No barracks at all for Loiza though, and a drush down here on this wood could do a lot of damage, depending on how Loiza decides to wall it. Let's see though, he's heading straight towards that barracks right there, and of course, oh, he's going to spot it. That was so close. Loiza almost didn't spot that, and now we're seeing a barracks going down for him, uh, but he is already up to the feudal age, so he's actually... Going to cancel that barracks, build it a little bit further back, and probably going to try and wall up his resources a little bit and make sure that he can take resources safely without being harassed too much by the incoming militia. A little bit of harassment here on this villager. Love Chang going to have to get back to base, but I think really be able to uh, manage to wall up just fine. Not clicked up to feudal yet, but that's pretty typical of a Dark Age rush. We'll delay your feudal age time. And Love Cheng now going to be coming in with these militia. What's Loisha going to be able to do? Well, he's not up to feudal yet, but I imagine an archery range will be coming down as soon as he hits the feudal age. In which case, he might be able to do some damage. Let's see what Love Cheng's scouting is like. Knows about this lumber camp back here, so probably going to head over to this one. This one, a little bit further towards the CC, I suppose. And if uh, Loisha just wall up the front, going to trap his... Uh, trap his uh, militia in much more. Loiza though, gonna lose his eagle here if he's not careful. Uh, gonna run away. Absolutely fine right there. And in comes the drush on Loiza's wood right now. Love Cheng could get a villager and if he doesn't get a villager, it's not the end of the world even because he's still gonna disrupt Loiza's income of wood. There's the archery range from Loiza on the front. And at the moment, very few villagers on gold. He will need to send more over there. And he's actually sending them over right now. Delete that palisade right there. And now, of course, Love Cheng going to see that archery range. Expected stuff ready. Of course, Love Cheng, if he manages to wall up, which he pretty much has done, he will be able to pull off a fast castle behind this if he so wants to. Got to be careful, though. Very close to losing his scout there, but just getting away. So close indeed. And Love Cheng really being a pain to Loiza here. No real low villagers. One with uh, 25 health, but hitting and running on this wood, delaying Loiza's uh, wood income, and just really being a pain in the ass. Of course, Loiza going to be getting up some ar out some archers right now, and going to let his villagers fight it out back here, and send the counter-attack straight over to Love Cheng's base. Question is now, is Love Cheng going to be able to defend well enough? Well, the question is, whether or not he's going to go for a fast castle, or whether he'll start making some archery ranges and go with some skirmishes perhaps. Either way, Love Cheng is going to be in a reasonable position, as he is still delaying Loiza's economy a little bit. He went up to feudal with more villagers, and obviously Loiza's going to be a little bit more delayed getting his military over there, not to mention the fact that Love Cheng is already walled. But, oh, is he? No. Love Cheng right here, actually leaving a gap of... Very obvious gap, I've got to say. Really poor uh, placement of walls right there by him. And uh, Lois is going to walk straight in, which of course just shouldn't happen. So Love Cheng's fast castle plan, if it was one, is going out of the window. And right now, we're going to see a little bit of harassment coming in from these archers. And Love Cheng going to have to get something up in the way of military right now. Probably going to want to transition these villagers to the back and start making some skirms to defend with. Militia from Love Cheng, really not doing too much. Looks like he might have picked one villager, actually, which is reasonably good. But other than that, not really a huge deal with the Drush so far. Just going to wall it up right now so that any units have to go through the town center in order to uh, get to the back of Love Cheng's eco. But, you know, he's got to be careful. I mean, leaving a wall like that open is such a rookie mistake. And obviously, lawyers are right here. Going to be taking quite a few chunks off of these villagers' health uh, if he keeps the pressure on. Let's have a look if he's got a, a blacksmith up. Yes, he has. And he's probably going to research fletching, well, right about now. <laughs> there we go. Um, 
So two archery ranges from Love Chang going up, Skirmish is coming out, but Loiza already has the numbers. You've got to bear in mind, he had those archery ranges up much sooner. Love Chang, however, with a much larger economy at this stage. Can he pick another villager? It's going to be very close indeed. Is he going to get it? It doesn't look like he will. And these uh, militia right now are going to get picked off by this TC. Unfortunate for Love Cheng indeed. But uh, he's still at the score lead slightly. And that's kind of understandable. He's got a lot more villagers out at the moment. But he's under a lot of pressure. And the last thing he wants right now is to buckle under the pressure of Love Cheng, of uh, Loiza's push. So Love Cheng, two skirmishes at a time. Of course, that's not ideal. It will delay his castle time. But we'll have to see how he plays it from here. Of course, Loiza at the moment, much less resources in the bank. Two archers at a time though, and you know, we could even see a third archery range depending on how well this push seems to be going. Upgrades wise, well, Loiza has got the plus one attack and range, still waiting for Love Cheng to get that, but at the moment, doesn't look like he has a blacksmith, in fact it's just going up right now. It's so crucial that he gets that, otherwise Loiza's going to have a field day right here. But it does seem that Love Cheng is going to be able to get the numbers very shortly. There's Fletching being researched right now. And uh, still not losing too many, much at all. I don't think Lo uh, Love Cheng has actually lost any villagers yet. Which is quite impressive considering that Loiza has quite a lot of archers in here. But Fletching is done. Love Cheng's pushing forwards right now. And with that many skirmishers, he could find himself in a great position. Loiza going to have to GB by the looks of things. Microing quite nicely here to avoid these volleys of fire from the skirmishers. But Love Cheng micromanaging as much as he can as well. But it's still, Loiza looking like he's got pretty good micro here, gotta say. And uh, I think he's just kind of waiting and hoping that Loiza's going to make a big slip up somewhere along the lines. But if he can push him out of his base, then he's going to be pretty happy with that. Loiza, of course, not going to want to leave. But at the same time, he may have to if uh, Lovechen gets enough skirms out here. Still sending more across the map. And Loiza is still trying to keep massing those units up. Of course, if Lovechen can stop this, uh, prevent this breach in the walls and actually wall this up quickly he might be okay because of course fighting on top of this hill will give him that attack advantage that he wants and that will really turn things around into Love Cheng's favor. Love Cheng at the moment though still with a score lead and it's looking pretty good I've got to say. Uh, resources wise well Lois is starting to get slightly further ahead in food not sure about how many farms they have I'll have a uh, have a quick count up if I can uh, three six well I could just look at their farming tab why didn't I do that <laughs> um, 12 farmers for Loiza 14 for love Cheng so love Cheng possibly gonna be able to secure himself a faster castle time here. Certainly going to be able to keep that production of skirmishes up, but having more farmers, of course, does mean more food income, and more food income does mean a faster castle time, and, of course, sustainability of skirmisher production. But it looks like Love Chain is going to be able to wall this up for now, and his score a good 100 points ahead, which is nice. It does mean for Love Chain that he is going to feel pretty confident, I think, uh, for the rest of, well, not for the rest of this game, but for the time being. Loiza falling back to base. Looks like he's aiming to castle in a very short time. He's currently on about 500 food. And compared to Love Cheng's 300, he is actually ahead. But as I said, less farms at this stage. So Love Cheng could still slowly but surely pull ahead. Starting to take some stone here as well. And we could see quite a big boom out of Love Cheng here if he does go up to castle reasonably soon. Loiza though, um, actually he's short on stone right now, just putting up a stone camp and it looks like we've got a little pause. So hopefully it doesn't take too long for the players to come back. Du -du 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 -du, just having to wait. Uh, as you see though, Loiza no walls at all, uh, but falling back to his base and I think if Love Cheng pushes up here with this army, uh, he will get taken out very quickly indeed. Of course, archers skirmishes with that attack bonus downhill probably going to give love chang a tough time could end up getting mopped up pretty quickly there um and the question is who can hit castle first i'm looking at the populations love chang with so many more villagers at the moment i think a good seven probably more villagers than loiza so once he does go up to feudal he is going to be in a nice position all right looks like a weird sort of in sort of thing right here uh there we go uh, Love Cheng with a slight pause. Love Cheng's pushing up though, and Loiza's gonna let him get up there. Love Cheng's 
fighting up a hill. He needs to go back. As I said, going to have a huge disadvantage going into that fight there. But looking at their military, I've got to say, uh, Lovecheng has got to have a much bigger economy at this stage. And uh, if he can stay behind his walls and stay safe, he might be okay. Loiser, though, looks like he's going to click up to the castle age first. Question is, how will he play it once he reaches castle? He could go for really high aggression, which might not pay off if Lovecheng, if Lovecheng starts to boom behind it. Obviously, we'll have to wait and see for that one. Uh, but there's Castle Age for Loiza, and Lovecheng going to click in just a moment. Lots of farms, as I said, should have that food income very, very shortly. But time is ticking. The clock is ticking. And Lovecheng... Still producing villagers, perhaps? Nope, gonna start dropping off the food right now, waiting for that castle age time. There it is. And Lois is a good 20% ahead in terms of upgrading. But populations, it's 60 for Love Chang, 55 for Loiza. We should check their military tab quickly. 15 ranged for Loiza, 14 for Love Chang. So it's actually very close indeed. Um, I'd say perhaps five extra villagers for Lovecheng right now. But of course, Loiza with a faster castle time. So it all sort of balances out in its own way eventually. More archers coming out for Loiza then. And we can pretty much expect to see the crossbow upgrade and the bodkin arrow upgrade as soon as we hit castle. Oh, Lovecheng, no! No, Lovecheng! What did you do that for? You fool! He literally just walked his entire army into Loiza there. He wasn't patrolling. And Loiza managed to take out so many units for absolutely nothing. Uh, Lovecheng taking big losses there. And that was really uh, bad for Lo Lovecheng. He can't afford to be taking those kind of losses at all. Of course, Loiza going to be pretty happy with that little engagement. It may even be able to pick off some more. I, he went back. If he went up to this hill here, he would have picked off these uh, archers as well. Of course, this is the problem with... Uh, with not patrolling, you're going to lose a lot of units if you end up walking into your opponent's army and just getting massacred by them. Not ideal at all. Right, Castle Age from Loiza. Quite a lot of stone in the bank. Perhaps we'll see a castle, but first of all, a TC. And maybe a second TC to go down. He has got the wood for it. Let's see what he does. Keeping an eye on that. Also going to be pushing in in a moment as well. We can see the crossbow upgrade being done. The bodkin arrow upgrade. Oh, blacksmith's on the front. Just about done as well. And Lois is going to be pushing straight in right now. Looking for an in to L uh, Lovecheng's economy. No second TC, third TC just yet. But looking for a way through. This palisade is going to go down very quickly indeed. And Lovecheng's got to be careful. Going to go for this TC here. But will it go up in time? Because Loiza is on the way in. He is on the prowl. And uh, if he comes over to this TC, he will start killing off village, villagers very quickly. Lovecheng then getting into that tower, trying to repel him away. Loiza could pick off a couple of villagers. Nope. Nice, good mi miss by him. Oh, good diff sort of dodge, I suppose, by Lovecheng. But uh, he is still looking for a way in, and Lovecheng is forced to quick wall behind it. But crossbow is done. Bodkin arrow is done as well, and plus one defense, which is done for Loiza as well, worth pointing that one out. But in he comes, and Loiza is trapped right here, so if Loiza ends up losing this army, he's going to be in for a very bad time, trying to get through this house, 48 HP left on that, and he's forced out right into Love Cheng's army right here, and Love Cheng may just be able to finish him off, he has got skirmishes in the mix, it's hard to say, looks like Loiza might just have the numbers though. Starting to dwindle, but it's looking pretty even. And some of these units getting distracted. That is not what he wants. Looks like Lois is going to lose this. As uh, as as Lovecheng has more uh, scams out right now. A Manganel coming out for Lovecheng as well. And of course, that second and third TC on the way out as well. It's going to be very close. But there we go. Lovecheng going to be able to defend for now. And the scores are absolutely neck and neck at this stage of the game. Loiza playing very offensively. Has got his third TC up. Love Cheng just getting his up as well. Not too far behind, considering he was later up to the Castle Age as well. So, uh, not too bad. Not too bad. Loiza, though, going to keep the pressure on. Looking for villagers where he can find them. Picking one for absolutely nothing right there. Going to maybe pick some more as well. And look at this. Love Cheng opened at the back again. Going to have to get that house up quickly. But... That villager under a bit of pressure, and Loiza could find another way in. There we go. But Lovecheng has got his manganel. He's ready and waiting. 
Can he get the shot that he wants? Can he do it? Well, he's going to have to move into position and be very careful. This house about to go down. But Loiza could lose a lot of crossbows here if this mangonel lands its shot. Let's see if it can do it. As I say, going to have to be very careful. Got to try and keep his mangonel out of sight. Let's have a quick look. Okay, going to go for it. But Loiza's seen it. And he is going to get away. Very close indeed because Love Chang was bringing out a second mangonel right there. So no big mangonel hits so far. Castle on the front for Loiza. We can probably expect to see some plumed archers coming out in just a moment's time. And uh, Loiza is starting to get ahead right here. A lot of military production. In comes Loiza though. Is he going to be anticipating the second mangonel? Well, no. And it's pretty tough to micro against one, let alone two. So far, doing a good job though. And Love Chang is going to chase him down by the looks of things. It is going to be that much harder though with plumed archers out in play. And Loiza now creating a couple of plumed archers already. And you know, he could really start to dominate them with the map control here. He's already got pretty good map control as it is. You know, it would be worthwhile for him to consider picking these relics up. As uh, they will give him quite a nice gold income as the game progresses. But so far, keeping map control in his favor. In he comes again, though. And now, of course, got to be very careful. Because two mangonels on the field will protect this castle from going up. And Love Chang should get that up. No problem at all. Both of them going to have a castle. But Loiza, again, at the bottom. Keep picking off a couple more villagers wherever he can. And uh, doing a really good job of just hitting and running. And uh, kind of just poking and pushing Love Chang in all different ways. All different areas. Uh, just trying to take out whatever villagers he can. Lois is starting to get ahead in score here as well. Which is uh, pretty impressive. Plenty of uh, eco going on back home. Lots of food as well. So Imperial times should be pretty good for Loiza here. Uh, Love Chang with so much gold in the bank right now. He has got so much gold. Uh, but very little food. He's not continued to seed many farms. Do we have a look at how many, uh, how many farmers he has? 17 farmers for Love Chang. Which is really a very tiny increase. And we have a look at Loiza. He's got 29 farmers. So Loiza will be up to the Imperial Age in just a moment's time. He's got a very, very balanced economy for this. And he is just about to hit the point where he can click up and go for the uh, the Elite Plumed Archers. Second castle on the back as well. And if we have a look at Love Chang, well, <laughs> lacking the food at the moment. So much gold to play with though. I suppose it's always good having a little bank of, uh, of gold. But, you know, it's kind of pointless when you're not spending it. Let's see what Loiza can do here then. Gonna try and micro to take out this, uh, this Manganel, but of course, Love Chang has two, and that makes it almost impossible. Man, Loiza right here, losing so much. That one villager keeping that Manganel alive, and uh, that was some pretty big losses to take right there, as uh, those Manganels rained down loads of rocks. Loads of rocks on those crossbows heads. A lot of dead bodies right there. Love Chang probably going to be pretty happy with that. But probably not so happy when he realizes that Loiza's already clicked up to the Imperial Age. And uh, this is going to be very tough. He's already got two castles up. He's already starting to mass those uh, plumed archers up. Perhaps we'll see him add some rams in fairly soon. Or actually probably not. He's going to probably want to save uh, for the time being. But the third castle from Loiza will go up in just a moment's time. And if he continues with the plumed archer production, he's going to have so much, uh, so many plumed archers by the time he reaches up to the Imperial Age. He's also, of course, securing some relics right now. We're going to start with that as that monastery goes up. Not to mention the fact that university is up as well, so ballistics will be done very shortly. Uh, bodkin arrow, sorry, not bodkin arrow, uh, chemistry will be done very quickly as well. And Lois is full steam ahead to getting those elite plumed archers. Love Cheng though, doing a pretty good job of cleaning up Loiza wherever he can, and he's also clicked up to the Imperial Age, though at a much slower time. I'm just going to be really interested to see if Love Cheng can hold out long enough and push Loiza back. Of course, if Loiza is the aggressor here, he is going to be able to secure a lot of map control, as I said, and that does mean he will control these extra gold spots, which... You know, it's going to be really, really crucial to him as this game uh, goes on and on. So, let's see. Third castle up for Loiza right now. Fourth one going to be very shortly on the way because there's a lot of stone income for him at the moment. Securing those relics as well, as I say. And uh, 
second castle for Love Cheng, only just on the way up right now. So Louisa could make pretty short work of him if he gets out plenty of trebuchets here. He's already got quite a good mass of plumed archers. And in fact, going to come in the back here. If he comes down here, a lot of dead villagers for Love Cheng could be um, could be going on. Just position the uh, plumes there, and that's a lot of dead villagers you're going to have on your hands. But for now, Louisa is just going to hang in there. There's battering rams coming out. The trap's coming out straight away as well. No messing on that front. And, um... Ah, there we go. Okay, a little bit of a... I thought it was going to be a pause, but it wasn't. And of course, now just waiting for that elite plumed archer upgrade as well. Capped ram should be on the way fairly shortly. Of course, bracer. Cannot forget those all important upgrades. And Lois is going to be making a very big push very shortly. Of course... Love Cheng's up to Imperial, but will he be making trebs straight away? Well, the Elite Plumed Archer upgrade is being done right now. And by the time these trebs are out from Loiza, I think the Elite Plumed Archer upgrade will most likely be done. There's no way he's going to be able to stop that now. Um, but Loiza's Plumed Archer upgrade already on 80%. That's going to be done in just a moment, and Loiza's really ready to push in right now. Uh, just waiting for the upgrade on the armor. Plus 4, plus 3 defense. Plus three, plus four, I suppose I should say. And, uh, man, Love Cheng's going to be in for a pretty tough time right here as the Trebs from Loiza start to move in. And he has got the superior numbers. The Elite Plume Archer upgrade is done as well. Of course, got to be careful of the Manganellas, but a really good split from Loiza right there. Making pretty short work of the Manganels for now, but still taking massive losses. One Manganel, two Manganels down, but, man, he lost a lot of Plumed Archers right there uh, to those Manganels. A little bit concerned for Love Cheng though. He's uh, not got any trebs out just yet. He's continuing plumed archer production and really focusing on that. His siege workshop is not producing any rams just yet. I don't know if he researched capture ram. I suppose we'll see that in a minute. But after those mangonel shots, I suppose he might actually be able to catch up to Loiza in terms of plumed archer numbers. But of course, this castle could go down very quickly. He's only got two, three castles on the way. And this castle will go down. He might even have to buy some stone. Yeah, he's buying stone right now to make sure that this castle continues to stay up. Loiza, though, really hammering on Love Cheng's door. And as I say, able to take this gold right now. There's a mining camp taking the relics in as well, uh, wherever he can, looking for those. So Loiza's in a great position here. And if this castle goes down on the front, then Love Cheng is going to be in such a bad position. And with four trebuchets from Loiza right now, Love Cheng needs the capped ram or the imperial or so the siege ram upgrade which he just doesn't have he doesn't have the capped ram upgrade meanwhile loiza capped ram is done siege ram gonna be on the way in just a moment's time he does of course need a thousand food for that um but right now loiza is looking in a great position and as i said prior to this clearly land maps are his thing one trebuchet out for love chang right now capped ram is done um but it is a little slow. He needs to take out these traps though, because if nothing, uh, if nothing is comes in to take them out, then he, he is not going to be able to defend from the traps taking down his castle. Castles, I suppose you say. Five rams coming in from Loiser as well, just for good measure, and no siege ram just yet. Oh wow, a little bit of a push on the left. Did not see that at all. Sneaky Love Cheng with some uh, siege workshops over there, but uh, should get taken out by this villagers pretty quickly. At the same time, he's losing his second castle. And, you know, if he loses all of his castles, that is pretty much GG. Right now, though, we see him adding in those archery ranges. He's looking for the skirmishes by the looks of things. Maybe going to be making skirmishes right now, but he has so little resources in the bank. He is really struggling. There's another castle going down. Of course, refunded those resources right there. But so many more rams for Loiza right here. So many more trebuchets as well. And just with these plumed archers alone, there's absolutely nothing Love Cheng's going to be able to do here. I don't see him creating any skirmishes. And there's the GG. Love Cheng going to give it up. But that makes it two all. Loiza coming back on the land right there and that is great for him he's going to be very happy with that and of course this series is a best of five so we will go to game three in just a moment's time sorry game five even in just a moment's time and that will be the decider so uh, don't go anywhere guys